is the problem, but how do we, how do we leverage our strengths that elected him that's, but to don't, Trump? Don't you think yeah. that's what he's doing now? And that's, see, that's mm -hmm. funny, because when I see these Occupy Wall Street folks, and I hear the right wing say, oh, these people down there with their dirty, filthy, yeah. pissing in the street, and their, <laughs> you know, all this stuff. It's like, you know what, they want them to do it their way. They don't want them in the street. They're saying, come inside, put on a suit, and get a lobbyist. Because that way we know you'll lose. Yeah. This is the only other way to get power when the other side has all the lobbyists and all the suits. Demonstrations are not designed to um, make people like the people who are demonstrating. Mm. Demonstrations are designed to be right. inconvenient. They're designed to be in the way so that we can stop ignoring something that we've grown too comfortable with. And, and, and the, the inconvenience for them is what gives them this power. I went down there the other day, and it was smaller than I thought it would be, mm -hmm. but the 24-7 nature of this thing, and it's going on and on and on, they don't go home at the end of the day. They stay there. They sleep there. They're creating this whole little city right. there. That is what's really admirable, the depth of their a commitment to the cause that we live here. We live this thing every day. It's inconvenient for you, Wall Street, inconvenient I, for us as well. That, I, I really think that is the only thing that impresses the other side, is that the willingness, especially in a country that prizes convenience and comfort this much, is willing to stay in the street. I think there's something else.